See how they look? This is they're ten days old. And I got a little toddler to pick around with. I said, how you doing? See how big they got? And won't be long till I'm gonna have to put something. A net over on uh, or something. So or get them out of the uh, Get them out of this little pool and put them in my cage that I'm building, my, my little brooder cage. So, yep, and I gotta clean their water. As soon as they clean their water, they keep sawdust in it. So, I gotta clean it out. We've got a little terrors about that. And this little guy right here. Is the biggest one of all of them. So, hey, what's going on? For those of you that's new at raising little chicks, um, make sure at this point, uh, even at 10 days, that you're, you're feeding them, uh, you know, like a room temp water. Uh, don't be feeding them really cold water. Uh, it's real important at this stage to busy bees, make sure they it? keep their body heat up. And when you feed them cold water, like straight out of the tap, it lowers their body temperature, and uh, you can you can get them, you know, not doing well, you know, even kill them. So make sure that you're using warm water at this point as well. Another thing at this point you'll run into, and you might have already run into it something called pasty butt which uh, when they use the bathroom it sticks to the feathers behind them and you'll have to get uh, like a q-tip and wet it and uh, and or sometime I've, I've even had to put them under their sink not this not the, these chicks but in the, in the past and uh, you know clean them off real good uh, but let me tell you how to fix that before it even starts uh, if you have chicks that you just ordered or whatever, if you'll take a Q-tip with olive oil and put it on their backside, you just won't have any problems. Uh, if you do that to all of them, as soon as you put them in your brooder, you just won't have no problems. So, and uh, it just helps you. Because uh, uh, actually, if you don't take care of that, uh, it, you could kill your chicks. And uh, it don't take long either. So, uh, that's an easy fix. Tell you what, uh, I put some of that clover in there. They've been picking around on it, but they, they don't know what quite to do with it yet, but uh, they just uh, been having a good time. I also put a, uh, a cricket in there and uh, and uh, watched them. Uh, they was basically fighting over it, but it was, uh, was kind of uh, comical watching them. They're, they're a lot of fun to watch and uh, watch them grow. Man, they grow really, really fast. And uh, you know what? They've been doing very good. I've been uh, working on a brooder cage. I'm just building it out of scrap that I had uh, from other projects. But uh, I'll show you a picture of it here in a little bit on the video. But uh, anyway, I really need to get them out of my living room. <laughs> they're little tears, man. They make a lot of dust, and uh, uh, they're just uh, like I say, they're a little loud and uh, and uh, and getting a little smelly at times. You know, even you uh, you clean them out, they're little poop factories. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we're gonna get them uh, in this uh, new brooder cage I made really soon and, and I, I made it out of the one I had in the past and I really liked it and, uh, and it, it, I think it's gonna work out good but uh, anyway I'll show it to you here in a second I had a, did some timelapse video uh, building this brooder and man, my GoPro just was doing something weird. It was doing a time-lapse picture. Uh, I guess it's my fault for not being more familiar with my camera, but I just never had it do anything like that before. So uh, when I went to get the video off my camera, it was uh, completely, it was just a thousands of pictures. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But uh, so anyway, that was a flop, but uh, uh, you'll still get to see it. 
Well, I made this brooder cage where I can uh, move it. I can pull it around because that's something you don't use very often. And I can like pull it in a corner or something. And so I put it on slides. And then I have a box that where I can put my the warmer and keep them warm. And then close them up at night. So, because right now the nights are really cool. Hey, don't go nowhere. Make sure you click one of these other videos and watch them. Got all kinds of cool videos, hiking videos, kayaking videos, recipes, how to do stuff. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. Just keep watching them. But anyway, I'll see you later. God bless you. River Jumper out. Y'all have a blessed day. See you.